Hi, this is Tom Larson from Tech Training for Teachers. In today's episode, we'll show you how to get the best font to use on your next presentation or professionally shared document, a font guaranteed to make your Google Docs and Slides projects really stand out. Let's get started. I've always been impressed by the presentations and resources shared with me and fellow trainers by the Google team. One thing that struck me was how crisp and polished support documents always appear. I examined the files closely and discovered that nearly every one used a particular font that I'd never seen in my list of font choices. Even after attempting to add this font to one of the Google Workspace applications, it couldn't be found. So I wondered, how can I use this font in my own documents if it's not available? Well, the answer is easier than you might think. I simply use the old copy and paste method. So here's how it works. This document uses the Google Sans font. It's what I'd like to use in a new document. You'll see, though, that when I begin a new document, Google Sans isn't an option in terms of font choices. As I said earlier, even when I attempt to add the font, it doesn't show up as an option. So here's what you do to get the font into your new document. Go back to the doc containing the text written in Google Sans and copy it. Come back to your new doc and paste it in. Once it is in your document, you're good to go. Here's an example of a resource document I created a while back. The first version uses the Times New Roman font. Now here is the same document with the Google Sans font. As you can see, it looks much more professional and the text, in my opinion, is just easier to read. To access this font and use it with your own Google Docs and slide presentations, click the links in the video description. This will force a copy of the files into your own Google Drive. I've created both Google Docs and Google Slides versions. Both of these have the Google Sans font embedded in them. That's it for today's video tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. And if you enjoy watching videos like this, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so you know when new content is posted.